I would like to take a few moments to introduce you to a new product. It's called Desktop Blocks. Really, what Desktop Blocks is, it's an extension of Pattern Blocks. And you can see before you what we have done. We have amalgamated the Desktop Block pieces with a subset of the Pattern Blocks. So this first activity is to show you one of the activities we can do with the Desktop Blocks plus Pattern Blocks. And this one is designed for students in the primary division. So what the activity can be is to arrange the desk block pieces and the pad block pieces in size from the smallest to the largest. Now you can see the full set here, all 10 pieces, but let's just go through the uh, approach that we'd like a student to go through in arranging these pieces from the smallest to the largest. Now we can see clearly that the green triangle is the smallest. And let's call this green triangle, this one has an area of one square unit. So if that has an area of one square unit, then let's look at the next piece, which is the, the rhombus, and compare the area of this piece with the first one. Well, we can see clearly that the rhombus is made up of the two small triangles. So if the small triangle is one square unit, then the rhombus would be two square units. So that's one way of um, looking at the area of proof, especially with very young children. Well, what about the trapezoid? Well, we can determine the area of that trapezoid in many different ways. And maybe a good question to ask the student is, if this one, if the area is one square unit, in how many different ways can you find the area of this piece? Well, let's see some approaches. I guess one way would be to take the trapezoid, and we can see that we can use three green triangles to cover it. So the area would be three square units. I guess another approach would be to use the rhombus. And let's see, we previously established that this one is two square units, so that's two plus one is three. So if this is one square unit, that's two, that's three. Now we come to that triangle, in how many different ways can we determine the area? Well, let's see. Again, we can experiment. I guess my blue, which we determine is already two square units. So that's two, so that's three, and then that's four. If that goes on nicely, that's four square units. Of course, there are other ways of doing it. This one, well, let's see. This is my trapezoid. So let's see, does that, oh, that trapezoid goes on. We know this trapezoid is three square units, and this is two, so we can see clearly three plus two be five square units. So the area of this is five square units. Again, there are other ways of establishing the fact that this is five square units, and the question we can ask the student is, how many different ways can you determine the area of this and how do you know when you have them all? And this one, again, we can determine the area of this in different ways. One interesting way is to use the two trapezoid. Each of these is three, so three plus three is six. Now this one of the new pieces, which is the pentagon, one, two, three, four, five. And let's see if we can determine the area of this one. Well, if we can take this one, we can take our hexagon, which we know is six, so that's six plus one, that's seven. So the area of this one, we've just established is seven square units. Well, this one, I think you can see visually how we can set about trying to determine the area of this one. If this is six, I guess I can put that six here, that's six, seven, and one more. So that's eight, clearly establishes eight square units. We have two more in the set. We now come to this green triangle. I guess I can use my hexagon, interesting piece to use. That is six. So we have six, seven, eight, and nine. So the area of that is nine square units. And we come finally to the last one, which is this one and we can see the shape 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's an octagon. In fact, a nice question to ask the student is to give me the name of this shape. It's an octagon, and we think of hexagon, which is six, so that's six square units, plus two square units, that's eight square units, plus, let's get another two, 10 square units. So what a wonderful exercise to go through, especially with primary students, to arrange these pieces in size from the smallest to the largest, and in how many different ways can you determine the area of each of these pieces.